Relationships are the ground on which our society stands. Respect it, value it. Don't put anyone in a situation where you can't see yourself in because, believe me, if you do put them in hurtful shoes, they are going to come right back at your face and with a bang. These wise words are from none other than my guest for tonight. Please welcome the modern Sufi, Vani Kabir. Welcome to And Arise, Vani. It's such a pleasure and honor to have you with us here. I'm delighted. I can't explain how delighted I am to be here. So, Vani, you have an 11-year-old son, Kabir. Yes. And you are called Vani Kabir. I find this very interesting. What made you take your son's name as your last name? Um, so, when I was divorced uh, back in 2013-14, most of the people go back to their maiden name. And I was talking to my mother on the phone. And uh, I was telling her that I don't want to go back to the maiden name and everything. Because in you know, internally, I feel that, you know, by running away and everything, you know, I got shame and, you know, people had a lot of judgments to pass. So, I didn't want to go back to that name. And I wasn't allowed to carry forward the name uh, that I got with my marriage. And uh, Kabir was playing and he was listening to it and he just comes up and, uh, you know, looks at me and says, Aap mera naam le lo. And I think that was the resurrection point in my life. You know, I purposefully call it resurrection because I was down in ashes. So, you know, just that name gave me so much power. And uh, I very proudly say that, you know, he's the only man that I trust. That is one relationship of my life that no matter what happens is never going to change. I think a mother and child's relationship is the most Absolutely. sacred. Absolutely. It's, it's, he's my safe place to go back from anything in the world. That's so beautiful. So you got married at a very tender young age of 19. Yes. I want to know why such a young age. Uh, so I was an intern at a company and uh, he was the senior person. I liked the you know maturity he brought into my life you know at that tender mm. age. That's how I went uh, ahead with uh, the with a simple promise that my life is going to be good after that, and uh, I trusted everything that came my way. Mm -hmm. And so after Kabir, we decided that you know it isn't going anywhere. It's more of a blame game session. It's you know uh, like in creativity they say there's no brainstorming, there's blame storming. And you have another name. You've been anointed with the name the modern Sufi. How yes. did that come about? <laughs> Uh, so I, I met Vinay Patak over a breakfast in Delhi and I was telling him this is what I'm doing and everything. A couple of months later, he just wrote me a whole message saying Vani Kabir, the modern Sufi. You're a boss woman, sort of a persona that you carry. And on the other hand, when somebody listens to the kind of writing that you do or the poetry that you do, it's completely in, in depth. I've been, I've been like uh, told that I'm extremely sensitive and uh, uh, you know, my writings are intense. So, you know, they, these are the two you know, opposite directional words that collide when it comes to Vani Kabir. So hence, Vani Kabir, the, the modern, modern Sufi. Sufi. It's a lovely name. <laughs> Thank you. So what's the future now for Vani Kabir, the modern Sufi? So uh, that, so I'm, I'm uh, writing a book. Uh, I'm just on the verge of finishing it. It's a totally fiction novel. It's more like Star Wars. In this year, it's going to be my third TEDx in Paris now. I've worked really hard in the last five years. Very proud of my advertising profession That's because wonderful. earlier I was tagged. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. It was so lovely Looking being forward here. to your yes. book. So Anita, before we end, I have a small little surprise for you. Oh, so this is a small postcard. Um, this is from a collection of 100 best bookstores in the world. And um, it says, Dearest Anita, who said one can't sew lives with needle and a thread? You are a living example and inspiration for many like us. Your story, which began with a sewing machine and a few family members, is not just marvelous, but cutsy too. A small token of love from a writer whose life you're about to change. Love, Vani Kabir. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Vani. This is Vicky. Thank you so much. I'm Vani Kabir, the modern Sufi, and I rise because I can. <laughs>